Hey guys, welcome back. Dark Souls Prepared to Die, episode 27. I'm an Agamemnon. Today, I'm hoping to uh, get the hell out of Sens because it's been a long time. I think this is possibly the second, maybe the third episode we've started with me standing here at this bonfire with ambitious plans. Uh, we've made progress. Just I want, I want out. I want to, I want to go somewhere else now. I still have to go back and talk to the guy in the cage. I got the key, I just have to do that. We're gonna do that some other time. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Today we're focused on the boss. We saw him before, he's standing there, uh, just motionless. Uh, but being a boss usually means that as soon as he sees us in his room, he's gonna go absolutely ape shit and, uh, and really try to kill our face. So step one is remembering how to get to him. Uh, ideally, oh, that's not him. That's the guy with the boulders. Uh, ideally, we want to get to him without using up too much Estus. Because there are a couple of guys along the way. And uh, they are sometimes pretty easy to kill. And other times, they are just really, really obnoxious. There's one of them. I've killed a lot of these guys. And, uh... That, that worked pretty well. I, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. <laughs> uh, looking for a door. Looking for a foggy door. Oh, hey. Oh, jeez. No backstabbing. That's not okay. Jerk. <laughs> That's what you get. I forget that uh, they sometimes stop and, and drink to recover their health. Bunch of jerks. Uh, so clearly that was not the way to the foggy door. The, the, the door of fogginess. Uh, nor is that. Uh, I, I'm, I'm very pleased that I made the decision to get rid of that uh, bomb lobbing giant jerk up here. Because it's basically given me free reign of this entire area. And I, uh, I like that a lot. I still have to be careful there's a guy up here I think that respawns and he's got a crossbow that he is uh, very eager to use. Wait, isn't that guy supposed to be permanently dead? There's the guy with the crossbow. There's the big guy with the, the super shield that I could have sworn uh, was supposed to be like mini boss style kill him once and he's dead forever kind of thing. Ouch. Because the problem with guys like that is they're, they're sometimes really stingy about uh, dropping the things that makes it worthwhile to kill them. <laughs> uh, see, going into a boss fight, I'm at the point now where I don't even expect to uh, retain the souls that I have. I, I, I generally assume that whatever I go in with is lost. Is that him there? Or is that... No, that's the boulder giant guy. I kind of feel like the first step to finding the way back to this bastard will be... Uh, actually seeing him. Where's the crossbow dude? Is he down there? Or is he up? Oh, he's up, I'll bet. Yeah, he's up. We're going... We're going this way. We're not messing around. I don't like that guy. He doesn't like us. It's just one of those things. Now, uh, we're safe to stop here and look around. Is there, a, for some, yeah, I see. There's that guy. What do we got over here? It's very important, not only that I uh, handle this properly. That guy with the super babby buckler. <laughs> I just can't imagine that being of much use for anything. I'm I'm in my in the back of my mind trying to not only 
get to where I want to go, but to remember how I get there so that we don't have to uh, redo this search every time. Alright, so this cloud, he's going to be shooting. Cloud? Clown. He's a clown, damn it. And, uh, we're on our way up. Oops. Whoopsie day. Uh, hey, what do you got? Oh, that's not bad, I guess. It's So we did have to go this way. Wow, lucky us. That wasn't a wasted trip. Hooray. We're just going to top up. Now, all I remember from what we were able to see from a distance, actually, we can look through these windows and see it again, is that that guy is probably the guy who's going to be trying to kill us, and that the floor is littered with debris, which is just bloody infuriating. So <laughs> we have to keep that in mind because our strategy of high mobility uh, isn't going to get us very far with this tool. Uh, apparently there's an NPC that we can summon because we're in human form, uh, but he makes the fight entirely trivial. So we're just we're, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna do it. Yeah, and of course as soon as he sees us, what? It's uh, anger face time. I don't even know what that was that he just did, but it looked like it could be very painful. Oh, that's not the damn button. That's embarrassing. Oh. Go get out of the way before you get dead. Oh, I did it again. Wow, that's just shameful. Oh no, no! Just what do you think you're doing, you big bastard? As first attempts go, that was awful. That was just straight up awful. That's what happens when you play different games with a controller and you get used to pressing a certain button to go in a certain way and then uh, and then it changes. You play a different game and now you have to press different buttons. Uh, X does not attack in this game. <laughs> Oops. Round two. This time, however... Ideally, with the right buttons being pushed. Oh no. Oh no! Get away! Oh no. Ouch! That hit pretty hard. I'm not getting close enough to him before I line up for the, uh... Because he's freaking intimidating, that's why. Now we run away. Doing our level best not to get greedy. Jeez. That's, uh... Uh oh, run. Oh, right in the butt crack. Oh my goodness. All right, round three. <laughs> Just, I don't even know. I don't.
Uh, <laughs> okay. Quit it. Stop it. Don't swing at me, you bastard. I will cut your shin right the hell off. What's what's he doing? Is he like... Is he bugged out? Oh, Jesus. What the hell was that? Is he... Did he fall on his ass? What the hell is wrong with you? Why do I have a feeling he's about to go into super explody mode and just demo Oh shit! Oh no! Now he's mad. He's stomping. Oh, he's jumping around now. He's like straight up acrobat. What the hell? <laughs> Uh, come on now. You don't gotta be that way. We could have been the best of friends. But you just had to be a great big jerk. Ooh. I'm a little surprised by that. The hell is this? Examine Ring of Light. Uh, uh. Did I sign on for this? Was this. A thing? Are we going to places previously unexplored? Wow, that's uh... That's kinda neat. And Orlando. Okay. We we got full Estus. We've got a lot of souls. I, I would like a bonfire now. Can I can I place an order for a bonfire? Uh, ideally one very close to where I am. No. Sons of bitches. I I can't see them sending me back to the bonfire and sends uh, because I know I would have to go through the whole s oh Jesus what the hell are you you don't look friendly at all uh, I'm just gonna go on record as saying I'm kind of expecting you to just go right straight up and chop my face in half hello <laughs> Look, you asshole. No, there's none of that. Jesus. Okay, so he's got... Holy crap! No! Not like this! No, no! He's got a manageable amount of hit points. Two heavy swings will kind of take care of him. Um, but he also can hit like a freaking truck. Which, I, you know, realistically, not surprising. Not... There we go. Woo. 
Do doesn't even leave anything fun. What a dick. I want a bonfire. I just... I think I earned one. Oh, look, there's another one right there. Uh, what do I... Why do I get the feeling he's not the only one in that room? It's just a feeling... I could be completely wrong. <laughs> Fuck sake. Uh, Alright, come on. Oh, like I said... <laughs> not the only one! Oh my god! Oh, that would have been death if he had it hit me with that. Holy cow. Woo. Yeah, that would have been straight up death if he had to got me with that shield smash and then I, oh, I would have I would have been so sad. So sad. Uh Now we got See, I, I'm a little bit concerned about that one in the very background with the spear. Because I can't tell if it's a statue or another bad guy. Alright. Come on. Are you just going to stand there until I get like five feet away from you and then you're going to lop me into three pieces? Oh, for sakes with the wrong button again. Enough, you dick! Watch that bastard is gonna be back sitting on my souls. And then he's gonna kill me and he's gonna laugh. And I will be so sad face. Look, my souls aren't even there. My, my souls went away. Gone forever. That is a goddamn tragedy. There's 50,000 souls. And it looks like they disappeared because it bounced me back to another zone. When I died. Cheap, cheap assholes. Let's just get to a bonfire. <laughs> uh, or at least try to get to a bonfire. Come on. Hop to it, dick. I want my souls back. Why are you not moving? Are these like the... I'm just going to stand here and you're going to walk by... Oh, my souls. I'm taking them. Oh my god. Is that why? Is that why they're such dicks? Is because they're, they're just they're happy to stand there? Oh. I love so far the aesthetic here. However, it has to be said. What? I saw movement. No, I didn't. I'm paranoid. Uh, what's down here? Oh, there. Look! Look, it's a bonfire! Oh my goodness! Hey. You, uh... You're leaning against a wall, which usually means NPC. Except for that snake guy that we killed with the boulder. Who are you? Well, you are a rare visitor. Welcome to the lost city of Anorlando, chosen undead. If you seek Lord Grinzold Keep, exit here. Head straight yonder. 
If you are the chosen one, a revelation shall visit thee. What follows thereafter depends upon you. <gasps> I can reinforce my flask? Uh Okay. Hmm. What is it? What am I? Well, I am the keeper of the bonfire. If not for me, what beacon would there be in this lost city? A gatekeeper and a guide. That is my calling. Sounds simple enough. The bonfires attended by the keepers are special. They are linked to one another, and their flames never die. Yet never shall the keepers of these flames meet. If you require rest, now is the time. That is, that is a warning? <laughs> what the bonfire is for. If you require rest, All right. We did it!